<laughs> Let's talk about it. Oh, oh we have our terrible Reggie Pizza Man! <laughs> OB1 plays? That's right, what's up? Alright. OB1 plays? going on everybody how are y'all doing before we get started with this epic video give it a like huge thumbs up let's go let's go let's go now today there wasn't any like super crazy lit gaming news why i didn't do my usual morning upload so you're getting this in the evening boy but this topic that I want to talk about is very, very important and will shape the course of this generation. Mark my words, this is the most important E3 for this generation. I'm talking about PlayStation 5, Xbox Series L, I mean X, and the Nintendo Switch. Now, as the title of the video states, who has the most and least to prove for E3 this year? First, I'm going to start with the company that I feel has the least, the least amount to prove this E3 and the company that's rightfully skipping E3 because they really don't have to prove anything i'm talking about sony and the playstation 5. jim ryan said we're gonna let the games do the talking that's how he started off the playstation 5 generation and the games have been talking ever since launch hands down my favorite console this generation sony in my opinion knocked it out of the ballpark has given me everything that i wanted as a gamer for my playstation 5. let's look at just how they started off the generation at launch at launch sack boy big adventure the game that i'm actually going back i'm doing a platinum run on this game right now on my gaming channel obi-wan plays gaming championship make sure you go subscribe if you just want to hang out while i'm doing gameplay but Sackboy Big Adventure at launch. Demon Souls. Bro, this was my favorite launch game. I might go back and platinum this too. But Demon Souls at launch. They were ready for this generation. Such a fantastic game. I'm, I'm just showing you why. First of all, <coughs> the company that has the least amount to prove is Sony. And this is why. At launch, what else did they have? Spider-Man, Miles Morales. I did platinum this game. Short game. It was actually the perfect length. Not too long, not too short. Perfect length. I um, enjoyed the game from beginning to end. <coughs> and so, Miles Morales. At launch, Godfall. Uh, this game was a little controversial. Some enjoyed it, some didn't. I thought this game was phenomenal, bro. I was like... How do you not like this game? The action was great. I get, I think it was the post game content. After you beat the game, not much else to do. But the game was dope, bro. The combat, this felt like a next gen game. Just the graphics, the effects, Godfall. All of this was at launch. And then this year, my game of the year so far, Returnal. I just platinum returnal that's right ladies and gentlemen your boy i just started platinum in games on my ps5 i platinum you know how hard this game is to platinum bro just because of the random generating of the stages and hoping that the item the one item you need to get the platinum trophy pops up <laughs> hundreds of restarts restart right now i finally got it returnal 
the 2021 game of the year so far. You tell me what game in 2021 so far is better than Returnal, and I will call you a liar. Stop lying. I said it after I, I platinum this game. This is the best Metroid game. This is why I say I felt like Sony is just like reading my mind, bro. I've always wanted a third person Metroid game and they delivered. Man, this game was so dope. Now it has a tough initial learning curve, but once you stick with it, it just gets, the more you play it, the easier this game gets. Returnal, fantastic game. And then, in a matter of three, I'm still proving, letting y'all know why. Cause dudes are like, oh, Sony's skipping E3. This is why they're skipping E3. <coughs> this is why they're skipping E3 in about three days. I have this game already preloaded. I got the $80 premium special edition, whatever. Ratchet and Clank, this is, this looks like the best cartoon style animated game ever, bro. I don't care what Nintendo has released. Nothing touches how dope this game looks. Ratchet and Clank right around the corner. And the games, this is what I'm saying. They're just all year long. Even right before Ratchet and Clank, Final Fantasy VII Integrate. $20 DLC to Final Fantasy VII. Free PS5 upgrade if you bought the PS4 game. Can't wait to play. Bro, Final Fantasy VII was one of my favorite PlayStation uh, 1 games. Even though I think, was it Final Fantasy IX? Where the dude had the uh, monkey tail? I think Final Fantasy IX was the best. But... The dope, dope game. It was either eight or nine, one of them. Fantastic. Coming out two game, two huge games in June. I don't have enough time. I'm hoping that Final Fantasy Integrate, the DLC, is not that long where I could beat that game before Ratchet and Clank comes out, which I doubt. I'm not going to be able to do that. And then, and then, another possible, this is definitely probably going to be, if they do indie games of the year, this is going to be the indie game of the year. But, there's so many games I'm like, Returnal, my most anticipated PS5 game. No, Ratchet and Clank. No, Kena Bridges. I'm doing all of this just to, talking about the Sony games right now, bro. Kena Bridges. We're going to get to Nintendo and Xbox. Kena Bridge of Spirits. This game is looking amazing, bro. Oh, it's as if, if Zelda and Pikmin had a baby. You get this little black thing. Black Pikmin, bro? Come on, bro. You got a little green dreads? <laughs> no, those are not dreads. But Kino Bridge of Spirits, the game looks beautiful. The gameplay looks phenomenal. And this would probably be their big holiday game 2021. Still up in the year. If this game launched, this is my thing. This is how much Sony is delivering. Horizon Forbidden West doesn't even need to come out in 2021. And they're still killing it, bro. When you're in the grass, they say you could feel the grass moving on the dual sense. This controller is like magic, bro. The last state of play showing off Horizon Forbidden West, fantastic. Of course, we get the PS5 version, the game, and they already confirmed. No, no, those are um, Russian kind. They confirmed 60 ray tracing, but. Horizon Forbidden West, phenomenal. All right. And so, like I said, Sony has nothing to prove at E3, bro. They can chill at E3 and I'll be perfectly fine. Um, there are rumors that they're going to have their own presentation two weeks after E3, June 28th. That's my birthday. Uh, that they might do a presentation then. That would make sense. Let Nintendo and Xbox fight over press, and then they just do their own thing after. Um, but even if they don't, um, they're good. Sony has the least to prove E3. Now, the next company has the second least to prove, but in my opinion, for me, they still have a lot to prove. And I'm talking about Nintendo. The big thing with Nintendo right now is the Switch Pro. My switch, my kids took my red switch. I have about, I have five switches. I'm not buying another switch if it's slightly better than the current switch and the games just look and run the same. 
I have to see a generational leap, bro. At least Xbox Series S. At least for Nintendo. The rumors are it's going to be 4K output possible when it's docked. But I am, my expectations are in check. If it's going to be a hybrid model, Nintendo's price conscience, there's only so much power you could cram into portability before it becomes too expensive. And so the Switch, Nintendo has the second least to prove, but in my opinion, they still have a lot to prove. Most notably on the software front, bro. Mario Golf is going to be a fantastic game. But I need more than just Mario Golf. What other big games have Nintendo released this year? Metopia? Nintendo always does this. First half of the year, we're just chilling, bro. Second half of the year, maybe we'll give you one or two games. <laughs> That's how they do it, man. Every year, man. And so, um, Nintendo... They have to start Bowser's Fury, but again, the Bowser's Fury was super short. Mario 3D World was already a Wii U game. I feel like, because I was so heavy on the Wii U, the Switch has jipped me, bro. They're just re-releasing Wii U games on the Switch. Rightfully so, the Wii only sold 13 million, but I was in the 13 million, bro. And so, Mario Golf alone ain't doing it for me, and this game is coming out in June. You can scratch that, Ratchet & Clank's already taking up my June, bro. Bro, this is how much Nintendo has just been a little ho-hum for me. I was super excited for Breath of the Wild. The first one, oh my goodness. It was just so game-changing. Nothing like it before. I'm not that excited for Breath of the Wild 2. I'd say I'm not as excited for Breath of the Wild 2. We haven't seen any footage. The trailer looked dope, but... I don't know, just, I need to see the game in action. Maybe once I see it running, I'll be like, oh, this looks dope, I gotta get it. But as of right now, it's hard to get excited when I'm seeing <laughs> stuff like this, bro. I know you'd be like, oh, Obi-Wan, you Sony fanboying right now. They delivering the games, bro. They delivering the games, bro. It's hard <laughs> when you see a games <laughs> like this, bro. <laughs> Dinosaur, robot dinosaurs, crazy stuff, bro. This is the controversial shot. Why does she look like that? <laughs> but I'm not as excited as I think I should be for Breath of the Wild. What happened to Metroid Prime 4, bro? What happened to Metroid? This game was announced in 2017. Can start over again. This game took too long to make. And my hype for even Metroid Prime 4 has gone away. I just beaten the best Metroid game ever made. Returnal, bro. And there's no way in the world Metroid Prime 4 is going to look as good as this game. Unless well, a Switch Pro is crazy insane. Just speaking spec-wise, the particle effects, just this game, just it's not going to be on this level, bro. It's not, because Nintendo... Um, is limited to their hardware. So, Nintendo has the second most to prove, but I can't think of a, man, what can Nintendo just announce that I'm gonna be like, oh, this is crazy. Maybe they have a surprise up their sleeve and I'm gonna be like, oh, this is crazy. But the one game that I'm gonna be like, oh, this is crazy, is that rumored Final Fantasy Blue Point Demon Souls type game. Y'all don't know. That is my most anticipated game. That is. The original Final Fantasy on the NES was my favorite game of all time. And so, once that gets announced, that's what I'm saying. Sony just has my attention. Last but not least, this video has gone longer than I expected. The company that has the most to prove is obviously Xbox, bro. They have a lot. When I say a lot, <laughs> bro, the last big triple A Xbox game was Gears 5. That's over 600 plus days ago. Bro, they, they better not come to E3 listing off all these studios they buying up. We're done with that, bro. Y'all bought all the studios in the world. When are y'all going to deliver on games? I'm talking about gameplay, 
and release dates, bro. Gameplay and stop with the fluff. Xbox has been doing a lot of fluffing. Not just the past two years, this whole last seven years, this last generation, bro. Dudes keep telling me, Obi-Wan, just wait, just wait, just wait. Bro, I've been waiting. I'm done waiting on an Xbox, bro. They have so much to prove. Halo Infinite was a lackluster showing. Their first go round. Let's see what they did with this delay. Um, but there's only so much they could do in a matter of months. So my expectations are even in check for Halo. Um, now, Xbox has already confirmed there's going to be an Xbox and Bethesda presentation combined. But I have to let you guys know, there's not one Bethesda game I'm hyped for. Not one. Doom, sort of. That not even Doom doesn't even get me there. There are no Bethesda game. I've never been a Skyrim fan. Never been a Fallout fan. Never been a whatever else. Bethesda games are just not, not it for me, bro. When they announced that they spent $7.5 billion on Bethesda, I was like, man, y'all wasted $7.5 billion for me as a gamer. I am not excited for Bethesda games. In my opinion, even Bethesda fans are saying that Bethesda has been falling off. So um, they have so much to prove, Xbox. This is the first generation where a console has launched and their first party studios has gone months and months and months and not even one, not even one big triple A game. And y'all are like, Obi-Wan, you're just hating on Xbox. How could they drop the ball like this, bro? Yes, we could have blamed the other dude for the Xbox One. Um, Patrick something or the dude that was with EA or whatever. But now, Phil Spencer, this is your baby. And you've gone months with not one big game at launch. And at this point, it's like Sony PS5 is delivering so many dope games. It's like, what are you going to deliver to pull me away from this, from playing my PS5 right now, Xbox? And so Xbox, in my opinion, has the most to prove Sony. Even in their next presentation, they can still pull out a God of War surprise and actually show gameplay. Even though they already said the game's coming out in 2022, we eating in all 2021. So I don't need, this game should not be in 2021. It'll be too much to play. They need to space this out. But they could still, even at E3, finally show us gameplay at the end of the month. They've already shown gameplay of Gran Turismo, bro. We, we've seen in cockpit gameplay of this game. Look at this. If they really wanted to, they could have released this game this year. But I think with, they already have so many games in 2021. And with the console um, shortage supply, of, they just want to build and install base. This will be another big 2022. I am super hyped for Gran, Gran Turismo on the PS1 was the game that really got me into like simulation racing. Can't wait to play this game too, man. And then, y'all forgot about this game, but I did not. This, I'm not even a Harry Potter fan. And when I saw this, I was like, this game looks insane, bro. Hogwarts Legacy, they could show this at the end of the month. So many other games and the big rumor for Sony for their E3 plans and what I'm super, super excited for is next gen VR. These controllers look insane, bro. And the same technology in this controller will be in PS5 VR2. This is gonna be a day one buy. So, most to prove, Xbox, easily. Least to prove, Sony, easily. Nintendo just somewhere in the middle, and we're just like, whatever, Nintendo. We just watch. I'm just watching Nintendo just to see what they announce, to see what we could talk about with Nintendo. So, video is twice as long as I expected. What do you guys think about everything I talked about? Sound off in the comment section below. I want to know. But before you go, bro, click that subscribe button. Stay up to date. All things gaming, bro. We out. Peace.